hello everybody. Nice to see you at yes. this day of the art fair. Busy day. I think it's Friday, but I don't really count it anymore. Um, it's a great pleasure to have um, Noritoshi Hirakawa here in Hong Kong. Um, Noritoshi and I, uh, we go back quite a while. We, um, we met, I don't even know where we met, but we did make um, one or two projects together while I, I was director of art space here in Hong Kong. Um, I like his, I know his artworks and his, uh, his photographs since the 1990s. And, um, and they have, I mean, you might know the, the one or the other. Um, you normally, they are very well photographed. He's probably one of the nicest or best um, photographers as a craftsman. But um, normally you see people on him that do things that are rather naughty. E either they have their kiss or they have sex or they show your breast. And, and what is fascinating about it is that um, it's not staged. They are normally photographs that are um, where Noritoshi goes out and tries to find these people and talk to these talks to people into um, staging um, or playing this photograph with him. So there's a, a strong um, participatory element in these photographs, um, which makes them also rather natural and and very um, very interesting. Um, but what what you always see in in, in um, Noritoshi's work is um, an interest for people, an interest for art, and an interest of how to how do you pr um, produce art. Mm -hmm. So um, when Noritoshi started um, in foundation about a year ago, I think a, a year ago, a bit more. Uh, the foundation's plan to make it a few years ago, but at the same time, uh, actually, the foundation was just made uh, this March. This month, okay, in as an official. Uh, this month, March. Okay, this in March. In the springtime in, 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 in Hiroshima. In, in Japan. Hiroshima. Yes. And we can talk about why Hiroshima in a minute. Um, I think um, what happened is that he, he did ask a lot of people um, to participate, and, and a lot of them, um, I, I hope you see the same picture than I see. Yes. Um, a lot of these picture, uh, a lot of these people um, said yes. We want to participate because we knew um, um, Norotoshi's work, and we knew what um, what he's doing is very sincere and is very also considered. Um, so maybe you can talk a little bit about um, why you decided to set up the foundation, and then um, um, a little bit why you set it up, and then what the foundation is about. Uh, the one of the you know I. I First of all, I didn't study art, and uh, I, before becoming an artist, you know, I, you know it was uh, I was born in 1960, so I studied uh, applied sociology, which is like psychoanalysis, anthropology, and uh, mediums, and di different subjects connecting society. At the time, uh, I was engaged myself into more uh, for knowing what's what's going on in the world. So I had been traveling over the world by hitchhiking. You know, that was uh, when I was, and many people do this when they're young, some way, I believe. At, at the then, then I become a uh, uh, business consultant, you know, meeting the people from corporation executive in Japan, and then uh, advising the future of the world and what is a vision for the companies related to the society. At the same time, uh, many, uh, corporate people, I found that they are very much engaged into making money, and that they have a facade of like social interactions, benefiting to the society, make the better world. But actually, I found was m there's almost no one uh, really making practice of benefiting to the society. So I quit a job and become an artist, and then uh, uh, same time. The art for me was not for representation of my, uh, uh, like representation of my ego or something, you know, about own success. Art is always my uh, uh, my concern of art is more connecting with uh, with society, how we can, you know, re recognize like uh, uh, the uh, society or visions or the daily life. So when I studied the work, it was connecting with the how people or s uh, mentally, also how they perceive the world, how can change this. And this was, I had been doing for last uh, 25 years. Mm. And then I succeeded at some point for the market wise, or I succeeded in the art world for the, you know, institutions or recognition so on, because there's not so many artists doing this approach. But same time, um, I had been thinking all the time how you know I can benefit to the society, 
And then uh, last uh, year, uh, 19, uh, 2012, I was invited by uh, organizer, you know, I, I'm also involved into film sort of business, also producing film. At the same time, I was invited by uh, people from uh, film, film world people in Hiroshima. And then I went to uh, Hiroshima with my friend, uh, Benicio Del Toro, and he's a film, act, uh, film actor you know, who, was in, in, who was in many film traffic, and also Che, you know, and, uh, 21 Gram, and so on. So we were together in Hiroshima, then I uh, met many audience in Hiroshima uh, talking in public talk event, and I was one of the guests. And then talking about the uh, uh, future, and then uh, there's a, you know, people like uh, hundreds of people are there and then uh, what is the best, well, what is happening right now because of what is, you know, the situation in the world and how we, we, we can shift this, how we are uh, facing to this situation and how, what, what is the reality, how we can transcend this limitation of what we're feeling every day. And like this kind of mm -hmm. thing I spoke for like five, six minutes. And then m many people in Hiroshima, you know, as you know, Hiroshima uh, was a very historical um, town connecting with also uh, dropping atomic bomb in 1945. But at the same time, uh, uh, at the time, you know, majority of people passed away, like 200,000 people died. At the same time, uh, there's not so much support from the government, not so much support from institution, even Red Cross refused to support mm. the victims of the, you know, under the radiation attack. So they, uh, they survived themselves, they established a society again w w without any uh, resource somewhere. And then they have a bit of different point of view from other people in the other countries, or other also from Japan. And then they are very much uh, appreciated uh, uh, my talk. Mm. And then somewhere this kind of uh, encounter with Hiroshima turns to be a place for making the foundation. Mm. So, um, so what is the, um, so how how did you then develop the concept for the foundation and um, develop it into what it is today? I mean, the, the, the I, I was looking at the world for more like a 10,000 world, like 1,000 years, you know, like not for 10, 20 years, you know, uh, mm. uh, moving of the world. It's more like uh, we have to observe from the point of view of uh, like the time of Egypt, how we are developing this uh, mm. civilization coming to now. Yeah. Because many things not now coming to the kind of the situation, everything, not everything, but many part of the function, we are finding a dysfunctioning. Mm. And then that's connecting with our mentality or, uh, or uh, depressions or some sort of something doesn't fit. And then also doesn't fit with the uh, you know, environment, doesn't fit with society, doesn't fit with uh, institutions, doesn't mm. fit many parts. And if that even domestic life, even friendship or uh, many, many parts we have to configure it and we have to reform mm. sort of the way of looking at the world. So then uh, I think th uh, the foundation can be very uh, uh, meaningful, I believe, because uh, this foundation is based on use in associating with art, contemporary art. Mm. Not only contemporary art, because uh, there's a member like uh, uh, William Forsyth, mm -hmm. he's uh, a choreographer of Forsyth's company from Germany. You know, there are many, you know, there's, this, you know, Arto, Arto Rins is a musician, but uh, ma many uh, people who are into this foundation are, you know, very much sharing this, you know, we have to do something. Mm. So how do you, how, what is then the aim, I mean, talk about the foundation, but uh, I know it wants to transform or transcendent through art. Yes. And c so can you um, give us a few ideas or samples of what are the aims? I mean, the aims are look sound very, you know, you yes. you, you you get over something, you transform, you uh, reconfigure it, things like that. But g give us some examples how that should work, you know, some. Like there is no, you know, th that's very simple. Mm. When you have some mind to change, shift. Yeah. When you think, when you think, like uh, for for instance, you you have a wife and children. Mm. Then when you think that your children is not the children. Mm. Maybe you think the ne one moment, one second, your children is your master. Mm -hmm. Master who teaches you how to live. That's scary. <laughs> the moment you <laughs> look at your children mm. as your master or mm. your student of your children, mm. and then you s see the world completely different, upside mm. down. Yeah. And you, 
you can learn so many things from the children, what they're doing, what they're mm -hmm. behaving. And the same thing, the moment you see the world or small details or some, you know, uh, some part of their life, you see it's a bit differently, mm -hmm. the, the, you know, to recognize. Yeah. And that's a moment already changed. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is a, you know, many a movement also in the past, like the last maybe 50 years, 100 years, there's a, you know, also the, the world of physics. Mm -hmm. For instance, like a David Loss, you know, one of the uh, advisory board, also member of this foundation, and David is very much into the Tesla, and Tesla has a very interesting uh, theory. You know, he created the AC, mm -hmm. not DC currency, and Tesla's idea is very interesting thing was he met the uh, one of the guru, Indian guru, when he was in New York, and then he f was taught world is full of vibrations. You know, vibrations is a reality more than this physical thing. Mm. So vibration transform energy one second everywhere beyond the speed of the light. And then and then he you know start making experiment. And uh, you know once he realized vibration is the key of the world, you know, to perceive the world. Mm. And and the and that's what you know David was into this uh, uh, Tesla's theory some way. You know, this can be also a big part of looking at the world differently. Mm -hmm. And the same manner when we see the world, you know, differently and the moment we recognize that everything changed. And that's why the quantum physics has a quite uh, uh, effect now because quantum physics is a th physics, but the physics is uh, also uh, associated with the mind. So mind, what you believe, it's become reality. Mm -hmm. That is the truth of quantum physics. Also, we enforce us into the quantum physics because he makes the movement mind together, mm. and that's make the realization of mm. the, you know, this right moment. So it's always association with the way of thinking, and this is completely transformed. You know, we can see the world completely differently, but same time in the moment you are believing it, mm. and then the art is going to follow. So I is that why at the moment it feels that it is very important the kind of people that are involved in that foundation and the ideas that go out so that these that you um, emphasize a lot on the at the moment about on the ideas on the formation of this foundation and not so much on the on the actual art on the actual you know um teaching no. children and so on Look, one of the things like last uh, Mar in March 23rd, I was in the art fair Tokyo mm -hmm. and then uh, for the today's the day uh, talk event uh, with uh, Luke Toymans. Mm -hmm. We're talking about, um, you know, he came to Tokyo, we're talking about, the f you know, how we can transform the society or world, which mm -hmm. is a better world. And then we're talking, you know, this practical issue of the art. Mm -hmm. Also, what he was telling me, the same thing like, uh, like me. And uh, all the creation of art coming from inspiration. Mm -hmm. And the inspiration is, is not coming from intentions. It's coming like uh, coming from somewhere. Mm -hmm. And then the art is a medium. Medium is a, a less receiving some med uh, inspiration. Then he's just following the inspiration, creating art. Mm -hmm. And this is the same manner as uh, I was talking about uh, quantum physics. Somewhere they are, uh, they have a capacity to receive mm -hmm. and uh, interpret, and then then using for the part of the you know this mm -hmm. inspiration for the creation. That's art. Mm -hmm. So the this same manner, the art is reflecting on this uh, uh, inspiration, which is coming to the inner of the you know mind mm -hmm. of every human. So d uh, do you think it is therefore the artist's responsibility to do these things, to, to it, it, or is it special for artists? Uh, it, it's funny that it seems that we like artists driving these kinds of ideas at the moment. Well, you know, one of the other things, is, you know, the, the, it's the freedom of every artist. Mm. Some artists are very much focus on market to yeah. succeed, to be s rich, mm. you know, financially secure, or they become uh, well uh, received in the public, mm. or they get a name, so they have a one-man show in the mm. museum here, and the Empress present the show or something, mm -hmm. you know. But but I think the uh, some of the artists, like uh, you know, some of the artists that I want to talk a bit uh, about this, you know, like uh, uh, the la uh, the the movement like this, it happened uh, 51 years ago, right? 52 years ago, I think 51 years ago, the Fruxus was know, created. 62, yeah. Yes, and the time. Uh, the motivation of artists was nothing about success. 
and it was about how influenced this, you know society can be transformed. This is similar movement happened with conceptual art. Mm -hmm. So actually, the most mostly conceptual artists, you know, studied sixties, like same as Lawrence Wiener, yeah. and these artists are thinking about how, you know, the art can stop the war in Vietnam, for mm -hmm. instance, uh, or you know, Fuchs how they can transform the society's better world and they are very much into the emotional contribution to the society mm. and it's not about ego competitions mm. so and that some artists have this idea but there is no such a movement or there's no initiative created mm. by artists uh, making such uh, 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 an activities of mm. uh, 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 maybe making uh, uh, inviting people to think about or how to pr practice this mm. uh, transformation there's no movement over half century now. Which is fine, I mean, but also these were the moments when the art market developed, when the ego of the artist really became important, maybe um, most important in the 1980s, 90s, when it really became about the artist as a star, right? I mean, with people like Julian Schnabel and so on, and also Warhol becoming super big. Um, so, so how is it that now, after these 50 years almost, there seems to be a, another another attempt by artists, because there are a few um, foundations out there at the moment, to, to move into this idea of, again, away from the idea of ego and into a more, you know, distance yourself a little bit from the production and try to find other ways of, um, of participate and also engage with society. I think not only artists, mm. um, like, uh, you know, the also curators, uh, they have, uh, mm. like, around 2000 to 2010, they have a big movement of curators, you know, with, with having authority and uh, for art world, it's more powerful than mm. artists. But at the same time, I think that many um, curators, like, uh, you know, like Chris Deck and Udo Kitterman, there's uh, Catherine David, and, uh, you know, there's a member I'm, I'm reading, like Adelina mm. von Faustenberg, all this, uh, uh, you know, uh, people or David Elliot, uh, Dan Goldstein, all these people also start thinking, you know, how they can art can be useful mm. for associating society or reality. And this is not only happening in only in uh, be among the artists. Of mm. course, in the Marina Morvik, you know, started MAI, which is the Man uh, Marina Morvik Institute, mm. which is the connecting the body movement performance and dance, how it can reflect uh, this uh, uh, you know, art creation benefit to the society. Mm. Like same as Luke Toyman's creating a foundation, connecting with the uh, transformation of the world, mm. how he can uh, support this movement. And then th there's a people are very become aware of that. Mm. And then I think that, they, you know, this foundation was the one who are competing with other foundation. Mm. This is the one to combine. So collaborating with our foundation to make things smoother to, mm. you know, to shift. And, but it's also interesting that a lot of these artists, uh, especially Marina and so on, are very involved with um, spirality, spirality, that yes. there, there is a lot of, it's not religion, it's a new kind of idea th uh -huh. that comes out and that's not something that's completely absent from the art market itself, uh, right? If you, go, if you go upstairs, there's not a lot of that artwork out there, but there seems to be a lot of discussion about it in the art community. Yes, but it, I think it was, it was uh, uh, maybe connecting with, you know, this, you know, uh, movement of process and uh, conceptual art, they are trying to make a many experiment. But mm. I think the time of experiments already, you know, passed through. Mm. I think now it's a time to make a new, you know, uh, uh, transformation in practical sense. Mm. So uh, uh, that's why, you know, this, this members, for instance, uh, I didn't push much to invite them to be part of the member of the foundation because mostly people who are, you know, I communicate, they are very much aware of this already. Mm. And they are working independently. Mm. Now it's, I think it's a very good time to make a solidarity to create more the, you know, a you know, uh, more more easy to recognize for people. Mm. You know, there are already movements going on. So, and uh, today's the day is, is one of the uh, foundation, perhaps, but it's more of an initiative foundation to support mm. you know, all these individual activities who have a similar visions mm. of or possibility or transformation for for every mind, and that makes the reality of the transformation automatically. Mm. And um. C coming back a bit more to the practical side, um, yes. there is a plan to do the, the first project at the moment in Japan. Ah, yes. Can, can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I, I uh, 
is it, <laughs> is it working? Yes. Oh, this not this way. Yes. So one of the things you know, uh, on the uh, at the same time we made the foundation, you know, statement last November twenty last year, November twenty seven, New York. I made a, a, a statement to support uh, children in Fukushima because what happened in Fukushima is very unbearable uh, because of the uh, radiation spreading all over the world and there's so many people dying. Actually, the amount of the radiation. Um, spread it from uh, 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 Fukushima, it's uh, like uh, the, they can be already the amount of radiation level is can be 100 million people can be dead. That this is the amount of radiation already leaked out. And uh, you can see the overlapping the map between um, uh, Europe, the Chernobyl and the Japan. So actually many people got an influence in power and many people are, you know, uh, got uh, disease, even Germany, many people die. Some way, uh, Japan is, is, you can see, it's, you know, there's still quite a amount of the uh, areas can be evocation zone. And the Chernobyl is extremely high amount of uh, uh, radiations and now uh, still the radiation leaking never stopped. And then, uh, and there's uh, uh, unfortunately, you know, the in, uh, the nuclear industry was so powerful and connecting the international organization and the financial, uh, you know, institutions and government and so on. And uh, one of the reason I'm, I have, I thought it's very important to involve into this because uh, uh, we are living long time. You know, nuclear industry is a very good example of the. Uh, idea of we're living on the uh, separation, idea of separation, one side making money, mm -hmm. and then and then uh, all the effect of making money, who cares, no one mm -hmm. cares. And that is a, a mod one of the principles of modern society. Mm -hmm. And modern society is the individual on success and failure, they separate, we're living in a different world. Mm -hmm. But actually everyone, as a consequences, they're connected. So, and then this Chernobyl issue is very much connected to the future of Europe because um, even, you know, uh, because of the nuclear industry was very much uh, a financially secured business. Mm -hmm. And uh, th this is for the same thing for IMF and the same thing for, um, you know, like uh, IAEA or I, uh, ICRP or NRC, you know, nuclear, nuclear Regulatory Commission and all the government uh, are supporting this. But the reality is that many humans get uh, all the inf negative influence. So some way I, I was thinking what is the best I can do because mm -hmm. the children cannot get any treatment because over 50% of children in Fukushima, they have already uh, a thyroid abnormality, 50%. They have 360,000 children. And then w I, and many children cannot play outside because too much radiation, uh, you know, even ground mm -hmm. or outside. So they have to stay in inside of the house for two years, over two years now. And many people are, are mentally, you know, re uh, repressed. Also, they have many children suffered with obesity. So uh, I was thinking what is the best way to help this and uh, to make a program connecting with the uh, international organization foundation to make the children to make art therapy mm -hmm. at the same time to make children to, uh, you know, s uh, make a kind of, uh, holiday, you know, for moving out from uh, Fukushima mm -hmm. to at least the children can play because children on the ground, because children have a, a sensitivity of receiving the radiation 10 times more than adult. So uh, I'm, I'm working on this, you know, proposing to the Japanese government also, you know, uh, and, uh, negotiating the foundation called uh, Lead Pencil Foundation fund, uh, in Singapore to associating with the uh, art therapy, connecting with the uh, uh, children um, future institute mm. in, in Tokyo. So mm. that's that's one of the so but, but, but the one is but then I still um, yes. though there, there is going to be art therapy. What, what is the I mean what is the idea of the therapy of the art therapy of the you know yes. Uh, I mean, it's not you cannot it's not only cannot only be about bringing children out for vacation. There must be a little bit, you know. No, uh, you know, approaching from the art, the time of Chernobyl, there's uh, much of the connection with the art involved into the reality. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, like uh, the war, you know, that three million people died in war in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. And the ma this art was so dysfunctional, desperate situation, because many artists, conceptual art, couldn't make effect, positive effect to the mm -hmm. society. And art was, you know, become a commodity for transactions mm -hmm. and nothing more. Mm -hmm. But now art can 
we, we have to prove some way art can be associated with reality even to children who are under the suffer mm. and and uh, I think this is a very good uh, opportunity also it's a, you know this is a very horrible situations mm. but so I thought it's very good to combine you know art therapy also m makes a tremendous change mm -hmm. for these circumstances and it's very important the public institution recognize that so I am you know pushing this you know uh, mm. Uh, project to realize, so it's going to cost around 150 thousand dollars to make it realization this year. So I'm working on this funding. You know, funding. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's why I'm in one of the reason I'm in Asia right now, mm. because uh, this is the issue. Very imaginable things because this happening in Asia, because Asia, you know, in Chinese government now making over 150 nuclear plants. Even not so far from here, there's a nuclear plant created by EDF in the French mm. government, you know, French uh, electric company. Mm. And they have, uh, you know, many mechanical problems happening. And the Hong Kong's 100% the electricity coming from nuclear energy. Mm. So, for instance, so that's very important. This is not everyone's issue. Uh, this can be everyone's issue. This is the, you know, all children, they have to have a, 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 a Geiger counter <laughs> in Fukushima. But this Geiger counter, um, amount of the radiation, no one knows, even family member of the children, they not. They cannot know how much radiation they get. Mm. This Geiger counter has a transmitter, mm. and then it goes to the government, or IAEA, or this you know, international organization for the experimental research. So they even they don't know how much they get the radiation. This mm. is a crazy story. So mm. the children, they don't know, even they are, they are uh, obliged to keep this Geiger mm. counter all the time. Okay. So anyway, that's another <laughs> story. <laughs> so, so but, but I mean, yes. what is interesting is also certainly that you, you're trying to use the art world to bring that new ideas out and to, to kind of use it as a platform almost. To that's right. To that's promote right. these ideas and yes. these concerns and um, this to promote this um, change of society. Yes. And so yes. How, how can you t uh, talk a little bit, wha why do you think that the art world is a good place um, because, as an initiator. because art is defined as the expression of freedom, mm. also free will, and they are guaranteed to make the statement as they like, because mm. uh, they don't have a, d uh, a limitation of the statement. You know, the, the art was supposed to be the world of uh, freedom of expression, mm. and uh, there is no category like that in any other field. Mm. So art can be very initiative. You know, the, the when you make the uh, making the process. I mean, the proceeding of making the 501c3 status with the tax benefit in the uh, United States for non-profit corporation and, and today's the Inc. In, in America. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I was talking to the accountant. The accountant told me that it's much easier something connecting the art mm -hmm. and the government or institution to accept immediately of mm -hmm. the activities. But if, if we're doing something for the economies mm -hmm. or uh, marketing or something mm -hmm. or else, they don't give the license for the 501c3, mm. the tax benefit status. Mm. And art is already, you know, uh, recognize, mm -hmm. you know, this uh, function. And we, why we don't use this function? Because mm. art has a very great advantage. Mm. And uh, we can use it maximally for the function of art for benefiting mm. to the society. So, so you, you're still believing in also this, this kind of utopian idea of that the art can change society and it is a part. <laughs> 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 I mean, you know, yeah, I mean, that was like the William Morris, you know, had been thinking about the utopian society. He was very cynical mm. and actually William Morris was not a graphic designer. He was a visionary. Mm. And uh, he made a, 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 a he made a novel a long time ago from, it's called News from uh, Nowhere. So News from Nowhere about, uh, this, is, uh, this is an interesting novel you should read one day. Mm -hmm. News from Nowhere is about uh, society can be, what is a society can be uh, in, a in a visionary society. Mm -hmm. And people have a living own uh, uh, life with own dreams mm -hmm. and inspirations. And then the world becomes a great, uh, you know, great society. And then, his idea of news from nowhere was kind of denied, you know, mm. because uh, people thought he's a socialist movement a guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he was punished so much. But actually, you know, the, the reality is that this works very well. Mm -hmm. you know, pe and uh, artists have a nature of expressing the freedom and so on. And, this, and the everyone makes their own uh, express expression. This is good. And this is the way things work, you know, in the long run, very, uh, you know, perfectly harmonic, mm -hmm. harmonic way. And how, how are you going to grow the, grow the, are you planning to grow the membership or how is that, you know, how do you grow the, 
the organization or the vision? How uh, I mean, the, the organization always needs support, but at the same time, I'm making the exchange, so I, you know, I can I exchange with advising. You know, co you know, I, as a, I was a consultant, I can make this exchange benefit to the companies or mm -hmm. benefit to society, benefit to the city, or something in the beneficiary. Because you know, majority of people have a very great uh, mind of humanitarian. And also, uh, no one think the world can be. It's good to be destructive. Mm -hmm. Everyone think the world can be very, you know, positive, and then can be very um, happier for everyone to be, you know, uh, to be a great future. Mm -hmm. And so, I think the this is what the aim of the foundation to to make a, a positive mm -hmm. transformation. Okay. Maybe that's an idea to um, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, open the. Open the discussion if there are any any questions for for Noritoshi or if there are any comments yes. or ideas or donations. <laughs> or <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can go to the website, you know, todaysaday uh, dot com, uh, to todaysadayfoundation dot com. Yeah. I, I, they, they I think ah, uh, oh, I have something. You know, I give you the mm -hmm. uh, uh, flyers later when you like to pick up when in before leaving the room because mm -hmm. I have the. Yeah, uh, small fryers. I think they look like that. And <laughs> yeah, they have so a, they have a beautiful, they yes. have a beautiful photo of you on the front, and um, and tell people where what is um, yeah yes. the information on the back. That's right. That's yeah. right. At the same time, you know, th so uh, this this foundation has much more activities in the future. But at the same time, this is a global basis. You know, uh, mm -hmm. this activities are going to happen on a global basis. That's why international. Uh, uh, you know, promotion is very mm -hmm. important because th th now we're we're you know ending the time of regional sort of ego yeah. of competition. That, uh, you know, Hong Kong is better than Singapore. Singapore yeah. is better than uh, Dubai. Mm -hmm. All these you know ideas mm -hmm. is you know it's it's ending time. Mm -hmm. yeah. For me, it's interesting that these also I was talking to another Japanese artist that has a foundation right, which is a little bit similar, but um, that these ideas are coming actually for out of. Um, a lot from Japanese and uh, yeah, especially Japanese or Asian artists, and not so much in in Europe or, yes. or so on. So it's interesting that these also these I mixture between different kind of artists, right? Uh, you don't have only visual artists there. You have you have choreographers, you have um, actors, you have very different, very important people, very creative people in yes. that organization. So it's a very fluid way yes. of connecting people, and maybe also people that didn't know each other before. Some of these names, I mean. I didn't know before, but nowadays it, it is also a, a big new network you're setting up there. I mean, the people who are very much into this are coming, you know, sharing the vision that's also coming. In the original agreement, agre they agreed on the statement. Mm. Statement is a very much contained the visions, you know, yeah. and the directions. Yeah. And it's not, we don't necessarily to, you know, uh, make the all this uh, negotiation anymore because it's more like inspiration, you know, inspirational reactions create all the uh, movement. Yes. And uh, this is this is this is very much you know we are changing every day mm. you know mind is changing all the time mm. but this this uh, formation you know this foundation grows so quickly because because they have a similar ideas and mm. similar inspiration so yeah. you know th that's that is a very positive sign of the future don't you think so Yeah I think uh, I think <laughs> it is one no I think it is interesting to have these ex exactly to have these people together and also to think to think together. Um, on these ideas, you have very much, I mean, boiled down in that statement, also, which is, I mean, the statement is only like half a page, half an A4 yes. page, but yes. it is a very dense statement about change, about mm -hmm. transcending certain ideas and um, moving on in a, in, a, in a different way. So it, is, um, so it is interesting that also in that something like that could not have been formed 10 years ago because there was no, no internet and no way to communicate these things in that fast. And, uh, that rapidly. Also, the, the people's mind is changing so yeah. much, and then I think uh, uh, I, I think this is a very good uh, sign is that people understand more. You know, uh, people getting smarter. Some yeah. means they have more emphasis. Mm. Uh, the ability of emphasis is coming out than before, and uh, because uh, I think the circumstances of the world is not so easy at the same time. But I think this is a great uh, opportunity, and yeah. uh, I think the foundation is made. Not my initiative. Mm -hmm. This is more coming from the people's okay, expectations. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Are there any questions before we we finalize that? No. No.
Everyone's so quiet, like a Japanese. Yes. <laughs> 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 no, one of the interesting things is a gear. It's not about the gear. It's a formation of, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, like uh, organization. Because each individual have different uh, thinking or different way of to look at the world. So you know, some of the gear is very cooperative for this foundation, helping for the benefit event, for instance. Mm -hmm. So many gear are, you know, into this movement somewhere behind us. So the, it's individual basis because when I talk to Chris Bacon, for instance, Chris was very, you know, he, he engaged very quickly. You know, I, I asked him one day, next day he replied, I'm, I'm going to be the member, mm -hmm. use my name. But Tate Modan cannot engage. Mm -hmm. That's the organization he brought into, you know, he, he's working with, but same time individually himself engaged, yeah. which but is more important. But I think also because these things change, I certainly, I mean, I didn't ask anybody um, um, at M plus if I should do it or not. I do it oh. more as a private private person because you don't, on the one side, you don't want to have these fights, but I think people in organizations are also much more mature than they were earlier. And, and organizations don't define people so much as, mm -hmm. as before. I mean, um, looking at, at, at somebody like Waling, sure, he has a commercial gallerist, gallery, but for me, um, he's still more, more independent than most, most commercial gallerists. Um, it is more a mindset that there, uh, I think, with people. And it's about um, that people get, um, get smarter, but they also get more independent from, certain organiza uh, from the organizations they work in, which I think is a positive sign. They are not just people working in an organization. They are self-thinking individuals. And I think the organizations want these, want it like that. Uh -huh. uh, I don't. I don't think we want. Uh, and plus, you want people that all do the same thing. You want. You want. Mm -hmm. You want I people see. that think. Yeah, I think time is almost up. Is there? <laughs> is, yeah, look, Claudia is jumping up and down. <laughs> um, thanks everybody for coming. Thanks, um, Noritoshi, for sharing that yes. with us. Um, yeah, I, I think there will be more and more of these um, organizations and of these ideas, and they will connect even better in the future and it is probably only the beginning of all these movements um, um, which is quite encouraging I think mm -hmm. for for art and society um, yeah um, enjoy the rest of the day it's um, Friday weekend <laughs> weekend is coming and the art fair is in Hong Kong <laughs> and the weather is nice so um, thanks everybody <laughs> And uh, thank you very much for also, if you are interested, you know, I give you this, you know, small uh, 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 flyers of the foundation. Please pick up. Thank you very much for everyone coming today. <laughs>